hope you don't unsubscribe because you saw some slimy beans on my plate good morning guys and welcome to my channel tokyo foodie sarah today is a saturday and i wanted to do something a bit different and do like a vlog style uh, video i'm meeting two friends today and one of them i'm meeting them for breakfast and one of them i'm meeting for a curry making workshop so i'm hoping to take you there and yeah i hope you enjoy this video i've put on some makeup already and i just need to do my hair because i don't know i don't think that's acceptable yeah i'm just gonna have some protein before i go to breakfast because i don't think the breakfast has enough protein for me on hmb Okay, I'm ready, so I'm gonna head to Osaki Station to meet my friend. My friend and I met up in Osaki because we wanted to go to this restaurant called Tokyo Dojang Life, where they serve Taiwanese soy milk and fried bread. But there was a queue of 30 groups, so we decided to kill some time at a nearby Starbucks. After waiting for almost two hours, there were still about 10 groups waiting, so we decided to ditch the Doujang place and go to a nice bakery called Our Baker. city called Nagoya right now and I was also placed in Nagoya for the first two years when I started working and she's still there she's still stuck there she's also from Tokyo <laughs> so she's a bit sad about that it takes like an hour and a half by bullet train to get to Nagoya from Tokyo and it costs quite a bit it's like 10,000 yen one way so it's actually quite expensive and I haven't really had the chance to <laughs> come see her but when I used to live in Nagoya uh, we used to hang out every single weekend like just to go drinking or go outside of Nagoya and explore the nature it was a lot of fun <laughs><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> There were so many breads to choose from. ねえ。エビカツサンドとか美味しそう。え、でも甘い。あやか辛い系じゃない辛い系が私は。だよね。だよね。そうかなと思った。の白酢のやつにしようかしら。私じゃあアンパンです。はい。粒欲しい、粒。その方がいいかな。白酢でお願いします。ファイナルアンサーです。これでいい?うん。食べれるか?食べれるか?大丈夫、大丈夫。私が
から別々に行きます。I'll see you next time。すぐすぐ。すぐ会おうね。じゃね。じゃね。I decided to come back to my room、uh, because I still had two, three hours until the curry workshop. And actually, I came back for two reasons. Like, if I were to spend some time in Osaki or Shibuya,、um, I needed my laptop to do some work. And I didn't really want to be carrying around my laptop during the curry workshop. So、um, I thought I'd just come home and do some work. And the second reason is that. So, I ate out already for breakfast, and I'm gonna be eating out for dinner, probably with Rie after the workshop. So,、um, I didn't wanna be eating out for lunch as well. I thought I'd just cook my own food and yeah, go for the workshop later. So, I'm just gonna cook myself、uh, some lunch. It's just like some chicken, veg, and rice. That's what I normally have、uh, almost every single day because that's just easy. This container here is called Silicon Steamer. Um, it's made of silicon material, and it just like when you put this、um, in the microwave, it kind of like steams the ingredients inside. So, I always, always, always cook my chicken with this because it becomes kind of、um, soft and moist. So, I have some frozen chicken here. I'm just gonna put the lid on and put this in the microwave on medium heat for I think let's say six minutes. Yeah. And then for the veg, I have some pre cut Mizuna. I don't know what they're called in English.、Um, I'll search for it and put it up on the screen.、Um, I think these you can only find in Japan. I'm gonna get some of that. Actually, all of it because I don't have that much left. So, all of that. And I also have some pre steamed broccoli. I also steamed these in the silicon steamer. So, I'm just gonna.、Uh, I'm quite hungry, so I'm gonna use up all of it. Then I have some bell pepper, so I'm just gonna chop this up. Added tahini with some lemon juice and some soy sauce and apple cider vinegar. So I'm just gonna add a bit of that to the salad. Just waiting for the chicken to be ready. Yep, it looks like it's cooked. It's still a bit red on the outside, so I'm just gonna cook that for maybe. Okay,、uh, lunch is ready. I think it took about just over 10 minutes to prepare everything. So I've got my veg, like I said, I've got the Mizuna,、um, some pre steamed broccoli, chopped bell peppers, and chicken breast. And I also got some rice, brown rice with a bit of the black rice.、Um, this black rice I got for the black food challenge that I've uploaded、um, a while ago.、Um, so I'm just I'm not gonna have plain rice, I'm gonna have it with some. Can you guys guess what this is? It's natto or fermented soybeans.、Um, this thing could be your best friend or your enemy. I don't know. Comment down below. Is it your best friend or your enemy? So it's like really sticky and it's got that really distinct smell.、Um, some people think it's like rotten, but it's not.、Um, For us Japanese people, we grew up eating these, so we have nothing against it. But I feel like if you haven't grown up eating these things,、um, you would find it pretty interesting. <laughs> I have a lot of non Japanese friends living in Japan, and I've only seen like two or three people who actually like these things. It goes really well with the rice, though,、um, so I'm gonna have that. And to add a bit more of the protein and fats, I'm gonna have. Um, raw egg with it. 
in japan you can eat raw eggs and they're safe to eat um it's a thing like raw egg on rice you can eat it in like a lot of restaurants as well so yeah i'm just gonna have this right onto the natto so normally with a pack of natto you get this um sauce it's mainly i think it's soy sauce based but it's quite it's slightly sweet as well and then you get this japanese mustard which i don't really like but i i still put it in anyway um and then just to make sure that the natto doesn't like stick everywhere it's got this thin sheet of paper so you're meant to take this out take this out take this off um and as you can see it's very very sticky um yeah and there's like a piece of bean stuck on the paper don't know what to do you're probably thinking do japanese people actually eat this thing uh we do <laughs> okay now that the stringy bits are off i'll put the mustard into the packet and the sauce and then um this depends on the person but i like to mix it as much as possible some people don't like it too slimy, so some people just mix it like 10 times, but nah, that ain't happening. Actually, if I mix it too much, it's gonna be a little too disgusting on YouTube. Uh, so maybe I'll stop there, but I would mix maybe double or triple this amount yeah anyway uh so i'm just gonna put this on the rice and then oh just gonna crack the egg in And there we go, we've got the natto and raw egg donburi rice bowl. I like to add a bit of flavor, so just gonna add some sesame seeds. And yeah, that's it. Mmm. Mmm. Unfortunately, I really can't eat this gracefully on camera, so I'm just gonna stop the camera now and I'll see you after I finish eating this. Okay, uh, I finished my lunch. Uh, I'm sorry I had to make you watch me eat natto. Um, I hope you don't unsubscribe because you saw some slimy beans on my plate. Anyway, I have about an hour until I have to leave for the curry workshop, so I'm just gonna do some work on the laptop, uh, obviously wash these dishes and yeah, leave the workshop so i'll probably see you in shibuya so guys i met up with rie and hello hey. uh, we're going to the curry workshop now so yeah i'll see you there <laughs> <laughs> the curry workshop turned out to be really really long and i got a lot of footage from the workshop so i decided to make a video on its own yeah i hope you enjoyed this video of my saturday vlog i hope to see you in my next video thanks for watching be sure to give it the thumbs up because it supports my channel and subscribe to see more future videos about japan bye it's a bit red on oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <hi. laughs>